We're here at DSEI 2017 and I'm talking with Emre Akin, Strategy and Marketing Director for Neural Machina of Turkey. We're standing beside the company's Edgeter vehicle. Um, could you please tell us a little bit about the vehicle, its development history, its user profile and, and, and so on? Yes. Uh, this vehicle, as you called Ejder Yalçın, is our best-selling vehicle. I can classify it like that. It's a heavy armored vehicle. It weighs about 15 tons, has uh, fully independent suspension system, fully automated transmission system. It's a very good indication of our indigenous design and development capabilities. We use world-class subsystems like Cummins engine, Ellison transmission system, like all high-quality products. But what differentiates this vehicle from the other high-quality uh, uh, combat vehicles is that we have a unique combination of mobility, survivability, and lethality features in this vehicle. In terms of mobility, I can tell you that this is a real uh, all-terrain, all-weather vehicle. It was tested so far in five different countries other than Turkey in under really extreme weather and terrain conditions by high demanding customers. And we have no, none of them, we have experienced a poor performance of this vehicle. As for the uh, uh, survivability features, uh, we offer BR7 level ballistic protection 360 degrees all over the vehicle. And as for mine and IED protection, we offer up to 4A, and 4A plus 3B uh, protection. We made all our qualification tests through third party, in the international third party test houses. But what is more important for us is beyond those certifications is the real combat experience of our vehicle. As I told you, we have uh, so far sold almost 500 of this vehicle mostly to Turkish Special Forces, elite fighting forces. And we have experiences, we have experienced so far several mine and IED attacks against our vehicle and uh, we have no casualties with this vehicle. So this is real proof, uh, proof that our vehicle is uh, very competitive in terms of uh, survivability features, we believe. And in terms of lethality, I can tell you that we have four tons of payload carrying capacity. So beyond uh, usual automated machine guns, we can put short range air missile defense systems, anti-tank guided missile systems together with different surveillance systems or jammer systems to that vehicle without reducing performance at all. Um, the company's lightest vehicle, I understand, is traditionally the, the Ilgaz, which was originally a Toyota base then it progressed to a Ford F550 base. Is this vehicle behind us? W would this be the, the next generation of your lightest product? Yes, exactly. Uh, Ilgaz family is our legacy light armored vehicle family. We started Ilgaz 1 based on Toyota chases years ago. Then we switched to Ford F5550 for the Ilgaz 2 family, which is still under use of Turkish security forces. But this one is a game changer. It will be the third generation of our light armored vehicles we, where we use uh, our own independent chases with this vehicle. What differentiates this vehicle from the rest is their mo modularity. We will be offering different levels of protection capabilities from level one to four, depending on customer requirement. We will have even higher uh, mobility features, both in off-road and on-road, we will be shooting very high speeds, which are commonly uh, required for the protection of VIP convoys. And what stage of development is the platform at at the moment? Are there prototypes up and running? Yes, indeed. This one is the first prototype that we developed and introduced uh, this year in IDEF in Istanbul. The second and third prototypes are under development in our facility and some tests, qualification tests has already started and we aim to finish all tests by the first quarter of 2018 and will be in the market. You will see the test videos of the vehicle in the first quarter of 2018. And of course the company offers uh, riot control vehicles and, and APCs as well? 
Exactly. We have been supplying various international customers as well as Turkish end users uh, ride control vehicles for the last eight years. We have really different configurations depending on customer needs. It is one of the areas where we are very competitive as well. And also we have developed a 6x6 armored personal carrier uh, this year. It's also under qualification test. We believe it will be in the market for the first, second quarter of 2018 after all tests. Excellent. Thank you very much.